Hello and welcome to Wikipedia Weekly Network. Here we're Albin Larsson and I, Jan Einerli, are editing Wikidata Live. How are you doing, Albin? I'm doing great. How are you, Jan? I'm great as well. Uh, really excited about this theme we have today. Indeed. And what is it, Jan? We're gonna edit in in Christmas related things. And, Indeed. And, and in our research, it seems like it has been a little bit tricky with with this traditional holidays and how to actually yeah. show These that abstract in the concepts. Um, yeah. How to connect them? Yeah. Do you have any specific things that you will look at? I, I have ended up. Uh, I think. I think when we first said we would do Christmas theme, I was starting to thinking about sweets, and that mm -hmm. is kind of stuck in my head. So I think it's <laughs> sweet. Stick, sticky sweets. Yeah. And we, we have some of the, those in our Swedish Christmas uh, sweets. Indeed, uh, of especially really one of them, which is, yeah, yeah. which we're going to show here. And yeah. which is oh, great. quite a bit of effort. Yeah. I'm going to start with, with foods in general, and I right. think. I'll keep to that. We'll see if I, I'll deviate anything, but I think I think that's going to be right. The and main. is the is the red lights in the background intentional? That is very intentional. And I have one little uh, Christmas spruce there. That's the right. oh, and 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 these. That's all. That's all my entire uh, Christmas decorations. But I see something to to on your side there. The very typical Swedish Ooh. thing. Yeah, That's we've got right. a calendar yes. here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so open that the fourth uh, box this morning. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll see. I, I don't think we'll get to the calendar here uh, today. Maybe maybe you do. We did. There are sweet calendars. Sweet oh, calendars. Indeed, there are. Yeah. Well, anyway, I, I was thinking I'm gonna start on this article: list of Christmas dishes. Uh, um, uh, and I'm going to stick to food. And I'm, I think I'll start working on Swedish food. Uh, I have been working on that before. So perhaps I have some time to do something else. But actually, at first, I'm going to take a look here. But I think because I think I saw something with, with the interwiki link here. Uh, so in Swedish, you can already see that the label of this is not a list of something. And it turns out that the Swedish article is not a list article. It's more have long uh, sections of. So it's actually probably this one instead. So I'm actually going to move it. So let's see if I can do that in a good way. And I think there is the Spanish wiki has uh, an interwiki link for Christmas food. And we're going to soon be joined by the Swedish one. So I'm going to scroll down here and let's see. So I want to move it here. So I'll copy this QID and I'll go to the green link here and I want to move it. I don't remember if this is a, this is probably a gadget because it's not these green things in our main UI. Yeah, I think it's copy to to item or statement to item or something like that? Perhaps it is. I, or move site link, perhaps. Or, because yeah, I think this is only done, does this. Uh, and then I'll press here. And it'll hopefully do something. All right. Now, nice. And now, to be clear here as well, we're going to change the labels to. So it, it's said in the description, but we, we will. add a list over here. We don't need a capital J anymore. And then we can remove these. Oh, wait, perhaps I should first make sure they are over here. Oh, there's nothing here in Swedish. So we need to add that. So So, uh, all right, adding something here. 
So now this one is good. And now let's head back over here and also remove this one. All right, first little uh, administrative cleanup here, having Indeed. things being <laughs> connected in the right way. Yeah, It's a little bit unfortunate sometimes that when you do these kinds of moves, like you're losing some interwiki links, but also we got another one and hopefully that one is more relevant. So yeah, you win some and you lose some. Yeah, it can be tricky sometimes when you need to split something and yeah. something ends up having no. Yes. And I think actually the first thing we're going to come to here is, of course, so in Sweden, we have this sort of, it is a smorgasbord, but it is Christmas themed. A lot of things that are on an ordinary smorgasbord is also on this one, but there's some things that you only find in this one. So th this would be what I would say, this is a subclass of a smorgasbord. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, I think so. Indeed. Yeah. So let's see if we can model that in a nice way. So we'll first head over to the already redirect to Uleboot. Uh, so this one is for all three of them. So that's also very interesting because I don't think that the, uh, yes, it is also says there, the Swedish differs from the Norwegian and Danish one. It's a smorgasbord, oh. where, whereas the Danish and Norwegian ones are more like a set dinner, I think. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. It is interesting. So let's look how the Wikidata item for this looks like. Oh, and here they also talk about Finland. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I could imagine they got the, the Swedish style. It's a little, little bit similar. Now, I'm biased because my my family is Swedish and Finnish, so that's all a mix up. Here it says you bias, I got a bit of extra knowledge in the matter. <laughs> yes. Well, I, I, I rather I would say I don't think I know anything about the Finnish one because I think it's so heavily influenced from, of the Swedish traditions. Right. So here it says an instance of Christmas tradition. I can buy that. Uh, but I, the question is now, when we do have all of the, oh, here they're also to some breakfast, I guess. Yeah, that, that looks rather odd. Mm. And it said lunch in the description, I believe. Alter guy didn't have the ability to read all of it. Um, midday SM, yeah, midday uh, food. Okay. Yes, that's very strange. So this item seems not to be only about Sweden. But no. I depend, uh, thinking about the, let's check the Danish one. Will this talk about Scandinavia? Interesting. Yes, and they say we use this word in Denmark, but in other words in the other languages. Uh -huh. Interesting. Uh, getting stuck here immediately. Let's check the which Norwegian do you think I should check first? Uh, Bookmark the the one, the last one. This one seems to talk about the Norwegian one in yeah. general, and then it mentions the Swedish one a little bit. Oh, and we got Daniel helping us out here, saying that frukost, which in Swedish is breakfast, is actually lunch in Danish. All right, um, yes. Classic Scandinavian mix-up of words. Yes, which also takes us to the, the big question in Sweden, when do you eat your Yulbord? Do you eat it before the TV show or after the TV show? Then for everyone else who's listening here, at three o'clock, there's a defining moment on Swedish television, which has been going on. It's becoming less and less important with the uh, TV on demand and internet, but it used to be a thing at three o'clock and you either had the big dinner before it or after it. Yeah. <laughs> so essentially Disney has a one, I think it's half an hour where they are sending ads 
and everyone's watching it. Yeah, I, um, I think it's a full hour even. It might even be a full hour. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with this. Uh, let's. There is like on the English Wikipedia, there was also about uh, Got the Boot. Um, and I wonder how that model compared to it. This one? Because for that, for me, I consider that a part of mm -hmm. the, the larger one. Mm -hmm. So, And here it only talks about Sweden, which is also interesting. All right. So let's check out this Wikidata item. Oh, that was, was very, very basic. Very empty. Uh, and the question here, we call it Yulebori in English. I I imagine that there is no English name for this, so it's just copying the the, the Danish Norwegian, Norwegian one. one. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this should probably be part of the Yulebori. Yeah, I would consider it a part of, but I imagine some would consider it different. But I can't yes. imagine this being a thing on its own. Nope, <laughs> that's true. So... <laughs> uh, I all, I'm almost wanting to start a new item, but I right. for this make Swedish it a one, subclass, a, a subclass of this one, right? Uh, and and then remove the Sweden hair and the Christmas food of Sweden move it over there because this one is clearly about more things than Sweden. Let, let's do that. So a new item. Maybe I should just do a quick search before so we don't have yeah. a duplicate already somewhere. Indeed. Mm -hmm. And here we also have the this bug where there's something underneath here. <laughs> If I press escape, will it? And now, ah, no, no, it's all right. Oh, this is a. This was an episode of a, another television series. Can I get a? Up the bug, please. There we go. And I think this is the item. Let's search for all of it. Yeah. Ah, and now I'm on. I'm using English here, so we don't get all of it. But I'm pretty sure we, we don't have. So I'll, I'll feel oh, safe. Oh, it doesn't search all languages when you have English on? Uh, it didn't appear to do it. No, indeed. It was less. Yes. And then, yeah, that looked slightly old. OK. That's interesting in case if you're looking for duplicates of things, if that's the case. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, or here's interesting. Do you consider it being dinner? Uh, I want to say, I didn't want to say that. I wanted to say it's, but it's not food. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a sitting. Yeah, it's a sitting. Indeed, it's a Christmas. Oh. I don't know if you have a good Swedish word for it. No. We could say eating. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I think the Swedish word would be mål. But what would that end up being in English? Yeah. All right, let's go with that. Um, uh, so that's a new item. And then let's see, did I click away? All right, I did. So where do we have the Yule board again here? There we have it. And now we'll make this one subclass of that one. Uh-huh. It should have a subclass and we should 
add it here. So let's do that. We'll add the, the smorgasbord. Indeed. Subclass of smorgasbord. There we go. All right. Now that should disappear when we reload this later. I also wanted to move a few items from here. So I'll copy this. Uh, and we'll use the move to another entity with this entity move clean. And we'll go with this one as well. Oh, that's quick. Keeps Indeed. it. That's very smart. No, did I go with the Smurgas board now? Yes, I did. Oh, I was. Well, I would. Too quick, too easy. This was the one I should should have done. All right, we have to undo one. So let's reload this one. Yeah, uh, we'll have a smorgasbord happened. over here as well. We should remove that. So let's see, view history. Right. And we shouldn't have moved the subclass here. So undo this one. All right, and back over here. View history. And this is also like, as always with the wikis, it's, if you do something wrong, you can always fix it. Yeah, and it, it's nicer that you're showing like the undo way of doing it because that adds the ability to comment on things, which is incredibly useful if you're mm -hmm. undoing something someone else is doing or something like now, that. Now I'm thinking is restore. Um, What's the undo restore? Let's try. I want to restore this. Yeah, or if do you I? undo. Yeah, because then you undo both of them. Both one and two here. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, no, then it's no, un so undo, undo this one. Because Let's restore see. means take it yes. back to this point in time. Yeah, all right. That's better. Now, do we want to add the instance of Christmas tradition to this one as well? I think so. So let's, uh, for this one instead, use this button. But instead of moving it, let's copy it. All right. Nice. So now we have a few things on this one. Uh, now, the Swedish article was not uh, only about this, so we shouldn't move the interwiki links. They were that was all sort of about yeah. the generic thing. So I think I'm happy with that, and go back to to the actual food here. Started started strong with <laughs> getting stuck on the term. <laughs> uh, the meatballs. Why, why are, are are these two different? All right, let's check out these. Not redirected. Why were oh, they linked separately? Okay. I don't know why. Right. I guess these. Are, this is a tricky one as well. Then because here you yeah. have all the variants in one. Let's just check what the uh, Wikidata item says. So there, there might be. Let's Something see. That's if, a subclass. Yes. Let's first see. This looks like it's. Kind of generic. That's good. Uh, let's see if there's sort sort of like Swedish meatballs. Yeah. Or it, it is. Oh. <laughs> also known as IKEA meatballs. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. Yeah, it's a, it's a classic in Sweden. In case someone travels yeah. somewhere. And you just want to eat something they know, they can always go to IKEA. Mm -hmm. It's a safe bet for Swedes. Ooh, uh, actually, Turkish, I think this is also something we can find sources for disputed, but I, I, I don't want to go into that rabbit hole today. Right. 
it always comes up every year. All right. Support meat, okay. I think that's sort of okay because yeah. these are eaten all year round. Indeed. Uh, there could be a Christmas meatballs, but it's because sometimes you have extra spices for them, but uh, I don't know. Yeah. In my family, my brother has his own recipe, which is does every year. So I imagine yeah. there are a lot of variations as well. Yeah. And here we have the Christmas ham or Yule ham. This is uh, being in the Nordics, especially. You mentioned it's, Sweden. It's, yeah. Yes, the centerpiece often. Right. Yeah. And let's check out the Wikidata item. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think uh, uh, IKEA is carrying Surströmming because that's uh, quite some specific thing. Uh, yeah. I think it would be uh, potentially dangerous for their business as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the image has part pig. pig. I want to improve that one because I think we can go for ham here. Mm, so let's see if we do have something uh, ham. It's not the per. Well, it is. No, that's the one you buy in box, right? I would let's imagine. Let's check this one out. Yeah. Oh, these are not actually. Maybe, maybe that's it. It's, it looks better in Swedish because here it says a cut of yeah. a pig. Here it says processed pork food stuff. Which food is, stuff. Yes. Uh, I think we can go with this. Yeah. So let's uh, change the pig for a ham. There we go. Oh, we should now we actually change something here. Let's fix this because it probably didn't say that on Italian Wikipedia. So let's remove this one. Oh, let's see her. Here, add drawer brings in some information. Hams are cut from the rear leg of a pig. The exception to this is uh, yeah. picnic ham. Yes, I agree. It's not really ham at all. And that, that's the part I'm thinking of, though, which yeah. for me is processed. It's the picnic. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and here we see it also. This is usually a large piece. And sometimes the trick in the for smaller households is to actually find one that is small enough so it won't go bad and you don't have to eat ham <laughs> for yeah. too, too much. Uh, then, of course, like the other things that you have on it, uh, are uh, varies a lot. Uh, it said something here: mixture of egg, breadcrumbs, and mustard. That's yeah, probably quite common. I don't think I want to add it here. Oh, this looks decent at least. So let's get back to the list. See if there's something else. Here we have the uh, another old tradition. Oh, Doesn't have a link on 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 uh, English Wikipedia. I'm pretty sure we have an article on this on Swedish. I can go there directly to Wikidata here and see if we get something. Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, and this might be. Do -do. Uses dunking, yes. So we should add, I think here has part, yes. And we want to add some bread. This can vary a lot, which kind of bread varies yeah. by family. If you want uh, Christmas bread or if you want some generic, uh, I think there's two different kinds of breads mentioned in this uh, list here. We have the, the Vörtlimpa, which is quite common, but we also have one regular limpa and both of these could go into here but let's yeah, just make possibly for, even more yeah let's just go for the generic bread and then there's the other part and i think it said it nicely here is it's 
broth left over from boiling the Christmas ham. So I think we can, there should be something for broth here. Yes, so let's yeah. go with that. This looks Catalan style of sop. All right, so maybe there are different kinds here. Let's check the interwiki links. Let's check this one first. Oh, there is an English one. That good? Oh yeah, with wine. All right, so the broth might not be the generic one. So this is this is more generic than the Swedish one because we also saw this one with sugar and wine. So the question here is if broth bread seems to be common. Maybe we should just have a, a liquid. Maybe even if, yeah, if that's not too generic. It's very generic. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't see any more like common denominators between broth and wine. They're very different. Yeah, I agreed. So let's go with liquid for now. And someone can like, it's in the right area. All right. It's so easy to get stuck on everything. Indeed. Here we have a very uh, specific, oh, nice image. Let's go to this one. Pacific sausage, uh, mostly eaten around Christmas, uh, but also available all year round. Let's see how the Wikidata item looks like. Oh, no image. Oh, no when there were some nice image, this one was a, uh, like a really good image, I think. Yeah. Let's see if we can. Uh, uh, uh. All right, yes, it also says these are not fried. So this is how they come directly from the package. Let's check the Sausages category, see Sweden. if there's some, there might be some fried. They looked a little bit different. Yeah, there are some okay. in there. Yeah. Here we have them in, in a frying pan. Did I? And the one next to it is some next to some crisp bread. Come on, loading very slowly for me right now. It's not loading at all. You see the blue thing here? It doesn't move. Is it the media player? Let's try this. Oh, ah, that's quicker. All right. Hmm. Which should we go with? The fried ones or the unprepared ones? I think the unprepared ones has a slightly better image. Um, but maybe it's, it's very a cr yeah, Christmas it's... mission for someone to to ensure <laughs> we got a yeah. It's very better image. characteristic the way these come in. Yeah. So Indeed. let's use this. Uh, uh, uh. Add that as an image mm -hmm. is there anything for do we have a, like something like preparation uh that's that's how you would make yeah nah i don't think that's fitting here no but the common way to to prepare these uh, before you eat them is to actually just fry them in a pan. So in that sense, this image is like very authentic. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, hmm. there, there must be something else that we can add to this. Is there, is there any way you have found Wait. to connect it to, to the, uh, Fuel board. 
Can you somehow say that it appears on it or, or something like that? Or is likely to? Is, is it a part of or... or is it usage? Use main use of the subject? Yulbord? No. No. Maybe for some of the dishes. I mean there are some dishes that we wouldn't see elsewhere, I imagine. Like the Christmas ham. Like, like that's Christmas literally ham. on, on yeah. there. So it it's yeah, but if it's it's, it's use, yeah. Uh, if anyone who's watching this having a better uh, way of connecting them, is it a is it not really a facet all? No. And it's hard to say on the other ones. Uh, on the you would say has part because they're not always on there. Yeah, I, I would go with like has part is the closest one, but it's far from perfect. Yeah, um, and we we ran into this when we planned this episode as well with <laughs> yes. connecting things used to Christmas. What's what the best way would yeah. be? And it's we found instance of Christmas tradition. We found. Yeah, a couple of ways of do, do it, but we yeah. didn't end up liking any of the solutions. So here it says there's spiced pork and veal. So let's see if we can add uh, uh, pork hair, pork meat. That's good. And these are, I think these are quite uh, protected by the name in some sense. Oh, okay. Uh, so they're they're quite strict on what they uh, the ingredients. Now the question is: Do we have veal meat? Is this the the right kind of item? Yes, I think it is. Great. All right. All right. Good. Was there something else here? Uh -uh. <laughs> well, here is, a, here is a sentence that belongs to another article. All right. I'm not going to fix that right now. Oh, on Midsummer as well. I didn't know. Are you sure? <laughs> I wonder. I don't okay. think I've ever seen it, but okay. There's a source. There is a source, the New York Times. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's say that that's the case then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's... All right, that will be it for now on that. So let's skip the small sausages. Uh, let's see if we hit to the larger sausage. So this is literally pork sausage. I think it translates to uh, not very... All right, someone says here, yeah. yes, I was sort of... Uh, oh until 2002 so now they have actually not oh, that we, protection we anymore ah. all right uh, let's go into the the, the wicked data item for the pork sausage and see what it says sausage yeah okay well, well since it looks like this is actually for the Swedish one. Uh, Could add a country. Yeah, yeah. country of origin. Here we go. Let's add the has part here as well. Oh, there's probably an image. Um, let's check the Swedish article. We just check the pork meat. There we have. Maybe it. we should construct a query for Christmas food, which is missing images. Mm. It seems like a nice little bit of a set of tasks <laughs> for. <laughs> I love holidays. this image. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? This is this is Here's not for the beer. Christmas setting. This this is uh, seems like a, to be a bachelor uh, having his regular, <laughs> like it's it's authentic as well. Like you 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 have this uh, uh, turnip 
uh, mash and turnip and uh, oh. potato mash and mustard and this sausage. So it's really classic <laughs> and <the> two bears. <laughs> it's slightly terrifying. Do, do we have a food of Sweden that's very generic? Yeah. Oh no, it will be difficult to okay. find something here. Could yeah, it be in the food be. products? Meats of Sweden? Oh, meat dishes. Oh, there's actually one for sausages even. So let's see if it's not in not here. All right, let's go down to the sausages. No. no. There was also, I noticed, uh, a category for Christmas food here. So one up further. Let's check that one. Mm. Uh, no. Oh, and I got totally carried away here. Uh, <laughs> I could do this, <laughs> I guess, until Christmas and not be done by then. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I did do some good things, uh, cleaned up a little bit and, and added some uh, things there on Wikidata. So that's or, or on the items for food. Right. And. Let's see if I can find my way to somewhere and add screen and let's make sure I can see the comments and so on like that. And we are in category Christmas in Sweden. I thought that would be a great starting point. And I'm actually going to start off a little bit similarly to how Jan did it. So he did it with Julebord or Julebord. And I gonna start by got the board and it's essentially the same thing but used for sweets which is if someone is like me and slightly <laughs> over consuming of sugar this is a highlight um swedish for good table okay um uh, let's see common use snacks here we got knäck and um, i usually make knäck for Christmas by steering cola for a long, long time. Um, I think it's caramel. Uh, it's caramel indeed. Yes. Um, so let's see if you can head over to Wikidata. I think John showed this slightly and we saw that it was a very basic oh, yeah. one. So I would consider this a Sarkla of smuggles board. Oops. Let's do it like that. Type Scandinavian meal sort of buffet style. Um could we somehow say that it's for sweets by doing something like main subject or something like that? Or is that not it feels doesn't feel too correct. Um, but we can make it add a description here at least. Um, That's a tricky one, yes. No, I don't want to be dependent on an author Swedish term here. Um, <laughs> Something like that. Table setting for sweets common in Sweden during Christmas. And did I spell it correctly? Wait, I do have, let's see. I think so. Uh, I think that's 
somewhat correct. Um, and here I'm gonna go with dependent actually on the Swedish term. Yes, that makes sense. And slight variation in the Swedish one, but yeah, something like that. Um, I'm gonna leave out German and Norwegian because that would take me way longer. Um, interestingly, we we got more articles here. What more could we add to this? Um, I, I was thinking about. Uh... Could we add a use on this one? And say something about Christmas? I was thinking about gluttony. Oh. <laughs> but I'm not sure that might be too funny. Mm, yeah, it, it, yeah, exactly. It might not be completely unopinionated, yeah. so to say. Yeah, no, yeah, it's um... it's it's it is obviously opinionated, but I think think many would agree. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Um, let's see what the Wikipedia article says. Uh, yeah, we've also got a couple of candies which we could maybe connect to it somehow. Um, here's a special table, right? Oh, but it links to mm -hmm. the board article. Okay. Um, I think main subject it's still it's so generic but it says work primary top no, of work no that's not yeah. really it doesn't feel right is it an um, aspect of the of the Euler board yeah let's see what it says in uh aspect. facet um, off Yeah, I think it could actually be a facet of uh, Yule Boot. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, you usually see them together. Yeah. They're not likely you just have this one. Usually you go to the Yule Board and then you stay yeah. there for a couple of hours. <laughs> and then at the end, you get to go to this one. Yes. Um, so, or maybe it also follows. Um, but it's more for like, yeah. maybe not for this type of reoccurring event. So mixed feelings. Mm -hmm. um, but let's at least connect them like this. Oh, but should you go with the Swedish one? I should. Which, which is just Um It would be the one in the bottom, I guess. Yeah, let's double check that, make sure the index is updated. It got a high number. Yes. It's that item indeed. Good one. Okay, so we got something of a Christmas relation in there at least. Um, mm. And this is an instance of Christmas tradition. Should this also be an instance of Christmas tradition? I have never seen one outside of the Christmas. Oh, uh, indeed. Well, actually, now, to, now that you say it, we sort of have this one on, on the Wikimanias. We have the tables with all the candy. Yeah, indeed. But it, it's still <laughs> different, I would say. It is different. It's um, a different kind of. Christmas tradition. And here was something Jan and I was thinking of when we started thinking about this episode or did some research earlier to do. If this is something we could put on individual uh, foods or what we could use instead, and uh, we never mm -hmm. ended up finding something we really liked. No. I think my, my idea was facet off Christmas tradition on various foods, but no, it doesn't really feel right. So in case someone got got an idea for something like that, that would be very interesting to hear about because it's something we're currently missing, it seems, on Wikidata, how to connect that type of <clears throat> aspects. Then we've got Knek. Um, and let's see, it's a Swedish toffee fee, okay. Makes sense. Um, heavy cream, indeed, sugar, golden syrup. Yeah. And let's see what the, the Wikidata item says. Do we got the various parts? We see the various names of it. 
got an image. Is that a better image? I think this is a better image. Yeah, yes, yeah. better lighting. I'm actually going to replay. Yeah, 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 you can see much more of it. So I'm yes, going to. I like it. I'm going to change that actually. And that could be sort of a generic call to action for everyone. Like, do do take photos from your tradition and upload on commons. Yeah. I think we, we once had a bit of a similar food tema. We had actually someone go out afterwards just ordering. We were missing <laughs> an image for something, and someone watching this ended up going out, buying that particular food, taking uh, a really good image. So uh, that's great. We like that type of thing. Yes. There we go. That's a good and one. And it's a subclass of topography. It got country of origin, exactly. Sugar, golden cream, golden, golden syrup, and cream. I think it's like incredibly common also with the almonds. Yeah, almonds in it. Let's see. One might also add vanilla sugar. I didn't know that. Mm, no. But then shopped almonds. Um, but it, it's optional indeed. And uh, so maybe not. Is, is it optional? <laughs> yeah, I was starting to think that as well. I was well. thinking, has, has, has I any, ever seen any without? I don't think I have. I mean, I know people do it without because it's also right. something that people can be very allergic against. Ah, yes, of course. Um, but I think that would be the 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 exception to the exactly. rule. Exactly. So I, I would feel inclined to add it. Um, I would actually do the same. Um, and great, great new, 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 from Vera here being notions of pictures. Yes. Here's it with with your geotags geotags. or GPS. If you're yeah. if you're using a cell phone, might add them automatically unless you. Yeah, and especially if you do it like if you are away or things like that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, always good to think of. Um. Yeah, I also think it's the exception when there isn't in it. So I'm actually yeah. gonna add that. Yeah. Um, now, and here, now you want to write out almonds. Exactly. Here's the tricky one. Actually, it doesn't even suggest it. So um, let's. Without S, without S. Oh, indeed. So this is the risk. Here is the species of plant, and here is the seed. Yes. Which is the that, correct that's one. the one we want. Um, it's always something to think about if it's fruit or anything from plants. <clears throat> um, is there something more to this one? We got an image. We got. Is it made from material? Has there been any? John, I think you know it a little bit better. We have seen it has part. I before. think has part is the one that should go. Let me just double check. That's why I didn't do. No, has part is the one that also has the the alias has ingredient. So that made from material is not the one we should right. use. So I'm actually gonna move this. This is a it's a common thing. So it should be has part. So I'm just gonna move this. I don't think there is a better. Can you move it to the same item? Yes, you can. You can just use the the gadget on the right side there. Do I have that one? I think these are those, yes. Let, let's see if those are. I'm using the compact items. Yes, indeed, it's that one. I'm so you want to move it to the P527. P527. Yes. And I'm going to move the claim so it disappears instead of copying it. And that I think I used the first one and it disappeared, right? Oh, so can nice. Nice. And then. Move claim again. It remembers. This is super That's useful. quite user friendly. And now I don't need to to remove this either. Did it move but not close this time? No, I'm gonna reload it and see what happens to make sure. One no, minute. I didn't I didn't get that last one. Okay. And move claim. Up. Ah, uh, you move it to another entity. Oh, right. Good, uh, I got a warning. Uh, move claim, right. 
So now I should be able to reload this and it should have moved all of yes. them to the has part one. That's nice. Okay. I'm happy with that item. Uh, makes it much easier for people to query for it because we use has part for that type of thing. So let's see what more we can find on this one. Caramels, it's very generic. Uh, saffron buns mm -hmm. is a common thing around Christmas time. Yes, so, already. I guess many have already started with that one. Indeed, I think we started with it a week ago or something yes. like that. Um, so let's head over to Wikidata. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> oh, I already see one thing I want to do. I actually want to switch out the image again. Yes. Um, I think this this shape that one is, is more the classic common. One. Yeah. As well as this is just a very good image. Yes. And that's the classic shape. Yeah, exactly. So we, we actually see this uh, shape down here as well, but yeah. it's way less common as far as I know. Yes. So, there we oh, go. Now, now here's a tricky thing, though. Is is this two two concepts in the same one? Because it also says UK, and there was another image in the Wikipedia article that looked very different. Um, if you look at the Wikipedia article, yeah. saffron one there, the other English. The Cornish saffron, I think that's something else. Oh, this is interesting. Saffron bun. Oh. That's interesting. Right. So here it talks about a U concept from the UK, and here, mm -hmm. it, here it says similar. Mm -hmm. But this to me is more, yeah, it's even taken yes. in Sweden. Yeah. So let's see actually what's going on here. Here is talks about Cornwall again. Um, Sweden and Norway. Oh, okay. So it has slightly different material of parts as well or ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, so currently it seems like this, this article could actually need some work. Mm -hmm. That too. <laughs> because currently it feels like it's mixed up. Here's the yes. Swedish again. And here yeah. are actually the, the main concept of this article. Let's mm -hmm. see what our Swedish article is about. Uh, I'll bet this, it's the opposite. Exactly. Here it says it's a Swedish one. Oh, that's, that's confusing. Um, yes. Instead of talking about the world, we'll talk about regional variations in Sweden. In, indeed. <laughs> uh, and I mean, the English article primarily talks about uh, yeah. the one from the UK, but it appears to mix it rather. Um, maybe I want to skip working on this item. Then. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, the one I got, so. I actually only changed from an image similar yeah. to this one, the Swedish one, and the UK one was never here to begin with. Yeah. Um, so I don't consider my edit harmful in any way. No, no. It was an improvement, but I think uh -huh. in, later on we might want to split these. Indeed. And may, maybe take a stab at that article as well. Yeah. Um, but I will do what I did on the last item at least mm. and move it made from material to has part and we want to move it to the same not have the right property that's not that sugar pe527 pe527 and here okay. i have to move the claim one and move claim and it you must remember that i'm on move claim and Move claim. Flawless. And give the reload. Beautiful. This has part. Okay, great. Um, at least it's easier for pe other people now to find this as well and maybe fix mm -hmm. it because it's easier to query for. So 
I'm gonna continue here. Junior bread, of course, in it has a million various shapes and forms across the world. This reminds me of what we do in Sweden. This is I got this too. Um, let's see what the Wikipedia uh, Wikidata item says regarding this. I imagine this one should be rather well worked. Uh, it says made from material again. Yes, this might be me doing it wrong. I remember working on this before I learned. Um, there might th there might even be t <laughs> there might be even be a, a video recording of me doing that. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't. Oh, okay. Else. <laughs> we can actually check that. This is a wiki. Yes. Let's see. Uh, that might be like in 2018. One of my first recordings, perhaps. Um, for the the podcast? Oh, it was before. Even before. Um, yes. We are. Oh, it's a lot of edits. 21. That's an incredibly amount of edits recently. Here we passed them. Um, here we got different from. That's a good one, y'all. Good edit. No, but it, I mean, this has been up for discussions yeah. in the past as well, how to model this. Oh, now you're in 2016. Yeah, yeah, I didn't find you. You ah, might be. Then was I'm in the clear in, on that innocent item. in this case. <laughs> um, it's not doing common that Jan and I run into items and then look like who did this and then we find ourselves there. Um, it has happened. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna leave this one. It looks rather good. It even has a ton of identifiers. Um, and I actually want to go back to Christmas in Sweden and see if we find something a little bit more exciting for the last few minutes. Um, I still we got Glug. Oh, um, might be worth looking at. Um, uh, why is that on the Christmas one? I don't know. I want I, to investigate I, that because I think that, I have done that around the Christmas tree actually when I was young. You have, yes, okay. Um, yeah, sweet dance around the Christmas tree. I learned something today. Uh, I learned plenty of things today. Um, so glug, uh, which is a type of wine we heat. Um, I think there is something very similar in south of Scandinavia as well. Um, but I guess there is a bit of variation to it. Mm. Let's see what the Wikidata item looks like. Mulled wine. Yeah. Um, Scandinavian, it says here. Um, here it doesn't say anything about wine in Norwegian, but it does say in Swedish. Yeah, we've got spices in it as well. Um, maybe this image isn't perfect. Um, I wouldn't say it usually looks like that. Let's see, do we got... Uh, we got new great image. I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> I love the the one with the small uh, pot there. Uh, that was really realistic. That one, like the, this, I, yeah. This th is this how, is how it actually we look at in people's yeah. homes <laughs> when we we stand there heating it, slowly <laughs> yeah. stirring it, and then we're boiling it up. In we usually have like. A, a different type of container with we have candles under mm -hmm. to keep it warm. To keep it warm, yeah, yeah. Uh, which we then bring to we usually sit in my family's library or something like that. Yeah. Um, and we see yeah. uh, Vera says glee wine. Yes, this is a, a kind of glee wine. And uh, Vincho in yeah. France also similar. And as I understand it, it's slightly different, but it's it's very similar. Mm. Um, I, I imagine the, the Swedish ones are sweeter. Yeah, yeah, I think so as well. 
uh, and it has slightly less alcohol than, mm. for example, in Germany, I believe, mm. or if it's the opposite way around. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of them. Um, yeah. Let's add a has part here, at least. And this is just wine. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually red wine, right? Mm -hmm. It can't. I have never seen it being anything else. So let's see if we got. Yeah, would you say? I don't know. Uh, like there's this always these variety sorts with a different flavor each year. Yeah, I think they sometimes are clear. Oh yeah, maybe maybe in some of the variation. Indeed, let let's do wine. Um, it's an improvement, anyway. Mm -hmm um i wonder if we usually like but we have it next to it like uh, amlons and oh served with raisins that's a property i don't think we have no, no we don't um uh, exactly so we usually have that next to it and mix it in there but, mm -hmm. yeah it was something like that I would really like for an image. Uh, mm -hmm. but I guess I'm going to take a note and keep it in mind for Christmas. Were, were there any better images in the Swedish article? Oh, that's, that's a good point. Let's find the Swedish one. Um, no. No. Oh. Here's something. So yeah, here's a potential do. for a high yeah. impact image. Yes. Um, okay, but at least wine is the usually the main ingredient, and then you can find all kinds of yeah. variations to it. Um, so yeah, I think we we got a couple of edits in here. Mm -hmm. um, we got the board, a couple of sweets. Yeah, and I think that's it for me today. All right, and that is probably that for us this year, because I'm going to be out of internet because I'm going to a lodge, a small little lodge in the woods. Yeah. So I'm probably not, not going to have good connections for video. So we'll be back after New Year's Eve sometime. Uh, yeah. And in the meanwhile, we got a lot of episode. I think we're up to. This is number 64. This is number 64, right? Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of things to watch from the past as well. And we, we got this page on Meta where one can actually browse it and see the various topics and things like that. Yes, so we're just going to see if we had that link prepared. I think we lost it. I think we got it, but it's a short link, so it's tricky to you. Ah. Let's quickly. Yes. Happy Christmas. And oh, and here the wind shroud is very different of the globe. All right. Yes. Good to know. And as we, but is it different from Grievine? Oh, good, good question. Um... And here is the, the short yes. link to uh, the various episodes we have made uh, in the last one and a half year. So, indeed, and this episode is also going to show up there in a day yes. or two. Yeah. And yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy Editing. Happy Editing. Uh, uh